So I'm dead calling the cops. I don't have time for this. And you're going back to jail because he dead was on parole. And I was like, yo, I'm about to send you back to jail because this is crazy. Like, now you're just being foolish. Like, now you just want to fight everybody for what? Like, you don't fought sushi. You don't fought the people from the block. You don't fought this. One. Like, please. Like, please. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. If you're new here, hey, hello. My name is Alicia and I have been traumatized. That's a funny way to start a story time, but I'm, I'm gonna be straight with y'all. This story is broken. <laughs> Not on my part. There was a lot of illegal activity going on and a whole bunch of shit happened. I swear to God, like it reminds me of the movie, um, but like a Friday, like you know how like it's like one of those movies like about supposed to be about like one day, but like mad fucked up shit happened in this one day. It was like that. In order for the story to make any type of sense, if you don't know already or you haven't watched like my scam story time series, please go watch that because it gives you an insight to the type of family that I unfortunately come from, right? <sighs> I have siblings that, well, not even just siblings, it's family members that have done jail time. I, like, I, listen, it's, it's a, it'd be a lot of shit that has gone on. Your girl, me, I'd be on the straight and narrow. I'm just, I want to set this clear, um, at least for the most part. So, just to give a little background, this happened probably, it had to have been like 10 years ago. I was like 18. Between 17 and 18, um, I think I was 17. I'm pretty sure I was 17. I hope nobody that says this story sees this shit. I mean, who gives a fuck? Like, we just gonna talk about it cause y'all my people. So we just, we right here with it. So anyways, okay. So just to give some backstory, I was probably between 17 and 18. So this happened close to like nine, 10 years ago. I, I wanna be clear that at this time in my life, I was a little ghetto. Like. Not a ghetto, like, I don't wanna say ghetto, like, I was just a little rebellious in my adolescence. I'ma put it that way. Like, I did some things that I had no business doing, which is like, you know, that's like regular shit. Like, you grow up and like, you know. So, at this time, it's gonna be a lot of characters in this story and this might be a long one, but to be honest, I swear to God, it is worth it because even, like, I was just telling Mike this story earlier today and he was like, wait, what? Like, it was so much stuff. And I was like, you know what? I should, I should do a story time about this because this shit was crazy. But anyways, just to give a little backstory, I'm about like 17, 18. At this time, I was living in the Bronx. Um, I was living near Interville on the two line. If y'all know, if you know, you know. If not, then Google it. I don't know. I was working at this time. So I'm more than sure I was 18 because I was in this internship when I, in my senior year of high school which like I would work from nine to two and I would go to school three to nine type shit. But on Fridays, I didn't have school. Like I had like an extra credit class, but I, I would cut it sometimes and just not go to school on Fridays. So my school days was Monday through Thursday, but I had the internship every day. So I remember this happened on like a Friday. So this particular Friday, my family would like have these block barbecues. If you from the Bronx, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm talking about when niggas take the grill and they just put it on the sidewalk <laughs> and they just start grilling and just sit lawn chairs on the sidewalk, like not even in the park. The funniest part about this is that we lived across the street from a park, so I don't know why they wanted to do this there and I've e even expressed that, but like no one will listen to me. But anyways, that's another story for another day. So this particular day, my family decided to have like this outdoor barbecue thing, whatever, whatever. So I remember like I had got home from work. Like there was like five different situations in this one story. And I'm so sorry that it's gonna be so many characters, but it's you need it for the context. So, okay, so it was like me, one of my siblings was there and my uncle, my, we gonna call my uncle Mr. Incredible cause it is incredible his behavior at his age, at his big age. So. Me and Mr. Incredible was there. He had got into it with one of my siblings. I'ma call her, um, I'ma call her Tara. Like, so him and Tara got into it and me and Tara was about to fight, right? Like, I'm just skipping the whole barbecue part because they was just outside grilling, whatever. I went in the house. I came home with friends and um, 
you know, they was grilling and stuff, whatever, whatever. But something happened when they got into it. Me, I'm the, at this point in time, I had a lot of respect for Mr. Incredible because, you know, I just felt like he was just misunderstood, which I understood a lot because I feel like in my family, I'm like sh 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 very strongly misunderstood. Like, I feel like people just don't get it. And it's like, at this point, if you don't get it, you get it. If you do, you do. But they had got into it so i wanted to fight her so that was like one situation i'm gonna brush over that because it wasn't really important basically she tried to disrespect mr incredible i was like yo that's not uncle like chill like it's not that deep and me and her wound up getting into it one of my brothers had to drive me in the house i'm not gonna give him a name because it's not important so i'm already cooling down from that now at this time um i was like in a on and off again relationship right and um, one of like my exes, I was cool with. Like we was mad cool, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm not gonna say how I know him or anything because then if you know me, you're gonna know who it was, but I'm not gonna even get into all that. But I'm just saying one of my exes was cool and I was cool with some of his people. So I'm trying to cool down from the shit. I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Like I just wanna get a bottle I just wanna get lit. Yes, I know I was underage at this time, I was under 21, but yeah, my ass was drinking. I'm sorry. I like, I have been drinking since young. Like, <laughs> I'm just feel like that. But like I said in my last video, I calmed down. I'm just giving you a synopsis of what, what the, the air was feeling like at this point. So basically my friends had came over, my, my um, ex had came over with his cousin who I was close with. So we gonna call the ex, um, we gonna call him Jolly Green Giant. And we gonna call his cousin Peanut. So Jolly Green Giant came with Peanut and then they also came with like one of his siblings or whatever. We're not gonna give him a name because it's not important to the story. So there was stuff going on all day. So I had some family members come over that lived in another borough or whatever. If you're not from New York, then you know the boroughs be beefing. Like if you're not from New York, I'm just letting you know the boroughs be beefing. Like if you from the Bronx and you go to Brooklyn, like you be ready to fight because you like, it's just a weird thing. Like just don't act. So basically the family members that had came over, they were from Brooklyn, right? And they was doing some things around the way I'm not gonna get into what they was doing, but it was some illegal activity going on. Um, I'm gonna just leave it at that. So basically the people that lived where we lived at, they noticed that. And so it was like a whole thing, right? Like, so, but nobody really said anything. So it got to a point where, um, you know, I had went to the park with my friends. It was like me, um, like two of my friends, Jolly Bree Giant, um, Peanut, and the other brother we all chilling in the park so and this is kind of like i feel like this is why like karma works in a funny way because i had asked jolly green giant to go to the store with me i was like yo come with me to the store we had got a bottle but I, we needed like a chaser and i didn't want to get it from like my family because they didn't even know that i had a bottle because they no one knew that i was like i wasn't supposed to be drinking like basically i was like 17, 18, I'm not even supposed to be drinking alcohol, so I'm not gonna go to them to get a chaser for my alcohol. Cause I don't want them to even come over to where we was at because I didn't want nobody to know that Jolly Green Giant was there because of like a whole situation that had happened like a few weeks prior. So we was all chilling in the park and so I was like, Jolly Green Giant, come with me to the store to get a chaser. And he's like, nah, I'm not gonna go, da da da. Um, Peanut, can you just walk with her to the store? So I'm like, like, but me and Peanut was like mad cool. Like I'm not even lying, when me and Jolly, Jolly Green Giant had broke up, me and Pino was still kept in touch, like we were still mad cool, we would hang out. Like that was that's dead, like that's dead my friend. Like we still friends to this day, type shit. So me and Pino go to the store. So boom, me and Pino go to the store. Now we wasn't gone that long. Like we had to been gone like maybe like 10, 10 minutes at the most. Cause like the, all the stores like by where I live at were like really close to my house. Like there was one in the middle of the next block and then there was one on like the following corner. But I hate going to the first one cause they's mad expensive. They used to be taxing. So we would go to the other one on the other corner. So we went to the store, we came back. So now when we're walking back to the park, mind you, my family's still outside doing their little barbecue thing, like right in front of my building where I lived at. But I didn't want to be a part of that. Cause like, I just felt like that was ghetto. Like my thing is if you want to barbecue, just barbecue in the park. Like why not barbecue on the block? Like. I just didn't see the sense of it. It was stupid. And you kind of going to get why I didn't want that to happen because a whole shitload of shit just fell onto my lap this day. So basically, 
me and Peanuts walking back from the store. We get back to the park. When we look at the park, like where we were sitting, like you could see it like from across the street. So say like they're like here at the park and we're like here on the sidewalk. We're looking directly at the bench that they were sitting on. And there's like a NYPD van and like two officers there, right? And they're talking to them sitting there. And I'm saying to Pina like, oh shit, like they might get arrested because we all were underage. Like, Jolly Ray Giant and like his brother were like a little older than us, like maybe like by like a year or two, but we all were under 21. Like we all were not supposed to be drinking. So I'm like, oh shit. And I'm scared to tell anybody in my family because, you know, I don't want them to know me and Jolly Ray Giant is even cool or like, it's, it was just like a whole thing. So I'm like, shit, I don't know what to do. So I'm like, Peanut, you should go over there and talk to them because I don't even want them to say nothing to me because if they realize I'm underage, they might try to get my parents or something. And then I'm going to have to explain to my parents why Jolly Ray Giant is even here, right? So Peanut's like, I got a warrant. Huh? I'm like, where you even got a warrant from? Because you don't understand. Like, Peanut was like the most square guy. Like, even now, he's a square. I don't care. If you're watching this, Peanut, I'm sorry, but you are a square. He's a square. So it's like, why? What? Like, what did you get him? Like, I, yo, I literally stopped everything I was doing. I was like, a warrant? What? So now I'm like, damn, like, I don't know what to do. And I don't want to go over there and like escalate the situation and make it worse for them. So I don't know what they're saying. Cause it looked like they were just talking to them. Tell me why my uncle, Mr. Incredible, he jumps off the porch. He's like, what's going on over there? This is, and I'm like, oh, hold up. I'm like, those, those are my friends over there. Like, relax. He's like, what? They're trying to arrest your friends. And I'm like, he don't even know that they got a bottle. He don't know none of this. So I'm like, yo. So he's trying to like, <laughs> so we're standing like in front of each other like this. And he's like trying to get past me. And I'm like this, like, no, don't go over there because I don't know what you're going to cause. Because he's rowdy. Like he's rowdy and rumbunctious. I'm going to just, I'm going to just put that out there. Like my uncle is still incredible. He is rowdy and rumbunctious and it's just a hot ghetto mess. And I just did not want you know him to make the situation worse or worse he gets arrested trying to be getting crazy with police officers if you know you know nypd they you know they be wrong so so <laughs> so he gets past me so now me and pina's like i'm like oh my fucking god because pina's like well maybe he should because he's he's an adult he should go talk to them i'm like no you don't understand who you send them over there so he gets past me he starts going across the street and I'm just looking like, oh my God, cause this is about to go from bad to worst case scenario. So I'm like, somebody's about to get arrested. Either it's gonna be him or it's gonna be one of my friends, but somebody's about to get arrested. So we stand there across the street. Cause my thing is, I'm not trying to get arrested. <laughs> even though I don't even think they can arrest you. Like they don't really arrest you for that. But what I think happened was, I think Jolly Green Giant had a warrant at the time also. So I don't know if him and Pina was, I don't know what, listen, I'm just telling you what happened when I was there. So basically they talking. So then my uncle, Mr. Incredible, he's going off on the cops. So I'm like, oh my God, this is just going to get worse. So the next thing I know is like, he starts coming across the street and he's like, oh, they had drinks. And I'm like, yeah, but I told you not to even go over there. Why are you minding my business? Like, go about your business. Like, I already took up for you today. Like, please, like. So next thing you know, um, I just see them like talking and then uh, Jolly Green Giant brother like stands up like he's bucking up and I'm like, oh no, 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 don't do that. Like, please. Like, cause I'm like, oh, they're about to beat them up. Like they're going to either beat them up and they're going to take them to jail or they're just going to beat them up and leave them there. So we just standing across the street and it's like, we don't even know what else to do. So by the time like i started to like walk across the street the cops were already grabbing jolly green giant and like was putting him in handcuffs and so now i'm like nah i gotta step in now because th this is crazy like y'all arresting him for like you know he's a kid like you know what i'm saying I, yeah we wasn't supposed to be drinking but i like so I was like, maybe if I go over there and let them know, like, this is my family. Like, it's not like they just sitting in a park randomly trespassing. Like, 
we know each other this is my family they just trying to have a good time like i i don't know i don't know what i thought i could tell them but i was like at this point i just did not want to see that happen like because i felt bad because it's like i invited you here and then like something bad happened. so i go over there by the time i get over there they're already putting jolly green giant in handcuffs and his brother is with him and he's flipping like he never and i'm like oh i didn't even know that this was whoa the ghetto. The ghetto. the ghetto. So I'm like, yo, you gotta chill. Like, bro, like, they just gonna take you too. Like, just chill. Like, don't even. Because, listen, I already know how police get down. I have a few story times about how of my interactions with police, they didn't disrespect me and emptied out my purse. They didn't do all types of crazy stuff to me. So I already know how they give it up, especially in New York. So I'm like, yo, please, bro, don't even do this. Like, you, like if he's going if he's going just let them take him and he's gonna come right out it's not like they can keep him something like this i didn't know what he had a warrant for i don't know so i was just trying to calm the brother down and let him know so boom then i get then i look at the van because they didn't already put jolly green giant in the van so i look up to him he says don't leave they take me to jail and i'm like this is mad embarrassing like <laughs> this is not what you but that's mad embarrassing like why are you yelling my name and stuff like i live over here like i was just embarrassed so then boom they take him to the police station my friends that my friends that had came they was over there's like bitch we need to go home the cops like one of my friends was crying because they they had roughed up jolly green giant a little bit i'm like bitch like you already know how this go like so i just took my friends to the train station because the police station was right next to the train station. So I'm like, I'll, I'll walk out to the train, make sure y'all get on the train so y'all get home safe. And I'll um, go see about Jolly Green Giant. So, so um, we had went to the police station first, actually before I took them to the train. So we went to the police station. This fool is in. And first of all, I don't even understand why they do this. They have like a hold, the holding cell is like right next to the door when you walk in. So my thing is like, if someone's in the holding cell, if you leave that door open for a little, they out the door. This fool's in the holding cell. Hey, hey. I'm like, yo, this is ghetto. Like, this is embarrassing. I was talking to the, to the desk clerk there and I was like, hey, like, you know, um, like what's going to happen with him, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yeah, they just got to do some processing. Um, he might be out by like tomorrow night or tomorrow or something like that, but it is the weekend, blah, blah, blah. Cause it's, it's Friday. So it's like, oh my God. So I'm like, damn, I'm like, yo, like, yo, Jolly Green Giant, stay up. Like, I'm just yelling. We yelling at each other. He like in the holding cell and I'm just like, and we just yelling at each other. And then my friend's like, please be safe. And like, it was just a lot. So then, so then we leave, we left. Um, I took my friends to the train. Um, Peanut, I told Peanut, I said, like, you know, ride, Peanut and, um, Jolly Green Giant's brother, I told him ride with them, make sure, like, you know, everybody gets home safe. So I thought the drama was over. I'm like, you know what, Jolly Green Giant in jail, like, but you know what, um, it is what it is, you know, you know, like, it was like, it was nothing else I could do, right? So I'm, I'm thinking that everything is over, so I'm walking home, I'm just so sad. I'm just like, damn, like, this is messed up. This, that, and third. So I, I'm walking towards, like, where I live at. So I'm, like, about to turn up. Like, say this is, like, my block right here. Like, because my building was, like, the second building from the corner. So it's, like, say this is where I live. So I'm about to turn the corner to, like, my block. And I hear Mr. Incredible's voice. Like, loud. Like, like I could hear him around the corner. So I'm, like... If I can hear you around the corner, what are you, like, what is happening? This man, I cannot make, I cannot make this up. This man is screaming at people that lives on my street. Mind you, like, so the funny thing is, like, remember my brother Mo that I mentioned in, like, my scammer story time or whatever. My brother Mo, he was living with us at the time. So, Mo is the type he he's friendly like he knows everybody he knows all the tea he's cool with everybody like he's like one of those types of people me i like where i live i don't try to like make too many friends i like to be low-key i like to be mysterious i like for people not to know my name my mo nothing like i just like to be able to come and go in peace 
and not have to deal with people. That's just, you know, that's just me. Oh, so, Mr. Incredible, he's on the street yelling at these people that I don't know. But mind you, I don't know nobody over there, except for this one boy that was cool with my brother Mo, and he used to come to my house, and he would hang out with Mo, he would smoke up all his weed, and they would play games and all this shit or whatever, whatever. So he's yelling at them. So I'm trying to calm, I'm telling my mom, like, get him, like, calm him down. Like, cause now they, these people gonna wanna fight. Like, why is he out here just yelling at people? Like, but what happened was there was a whole nother situation, which I wasn't aware of initially, but basically my, Mr. Incredible had came to my house and his phone went missing. Mo's friend, um, we gonna call him, <laughs> We will call him George Lopez because he kind of. <laughs> oh my God. We will call him George Lopez because he kind of do look like George Lopez. So, my brother used to hang out with George Lopez who lived on our block too, but they was cool or whatever. And we, I'm going to just have to bleep out his name. Oh my God. I cannot believe I just said that man's real name. And <laughs> I'm going to just bleep it out. But we're going to call him George Lopez. So, George Lopez, he's standing with the people that my uncle was cursing out but my thing is you come to my house like you eat from my house like you've slept at my house like you don't wore my brother's clothes like you don't bar games and stuff like y'all bro cool you would think that you would have his back in some capacity like i get it his uncle is being irate but he's also drunk and you know so that happens I get Mr. Incredible to calm down, like, yo, chill. They're going to come and jump us. You don't live here. Like, period. Like, you don't have to live here. And I'm going to be tight if I'm leaving my house and I get jumped because you want to curse people out for no reason. But basically what happened was Mr. Incredible had came over to my house and his phone went missing. Like, he had, like, a, a cell phone. But it was, like, some flip phone. It was, like, some trash trash phone. Like, that's what I'm, like... But I get it. Like, someone took your stuff because I'm... Listen, if you see my controller story time, I'm very sensitive about people doing my shit. So, I, I understand that part. But my thing is, you just cursing out people that you don't know. Like, at the end of the day, the thing went missing in the house. It was other people in the house. So, basically, at the time when the phone went missing, George Lopez was in the house. But also my... my um, Also Mo's other friend. We gonna call him... I don't even know what to call this man. We're going to call this man Sushi. So, Sushi and George Lopez was at my house when this happened. But besides them and Mo, it was just me, my mom, and my dad also there. But I'll I be in my room. Like, I wasn't even socializing with nobody. Like, I was just happy to have my own room. So, I, I ain't even, whatever, whatever. So, so I'm, what I'm assuming happened was, like, while I was gone, he probably started feeling away because he was saying, like, how it probably was George Lopez or Sushi that sold the phone. But I'm like, at the end of the day, this had happened, like, a week or two before the barbecue. So it's like, why are you waiting till right now to act a damn fool? So I had finally called him down and tried to take him in the house. I swear to God, Sushi had brought a friend. I'm not going to give him a name because it's not important. He had came with him to like eat up food or whatever the case is. He, sushi, as I'm trying to bring Mr. Incredible in the house, Sushi is about to fight his friend. And they both brolic. Like, they're both like stocky men. Like, mind you, at this time, I'm like 17, 18. I'm not, I'm not even what I weigh now. Like, I probably weighed like 110 soaking wet. Like, I was skinny as hell. I was like this. So, they in the whole way about to fight. And I'm like, yo, what is going on? Like, I just left for like, 15 20 minutes and it's just utter chaos when i got back like i swear it was like five different situations in one night so boom um so she's about to fight his friend but they both mad big and it, it was so weird like because they both like like hold on let me get up let me move. like Wah! like with each other in the in the whole room was so small so if i could like get past them because like my uncle mr incredible he's also big too so like it was no way we was getting past so then, ha, ha, and I'm like, wait, what's going on here? So I'm, I'm trying to diffuse like three different situations. I swear to God, and it was so crazy. And so like they was about to fight, and I was like, yo, what happened? Like, and then I guess his sushi friend like swung on him and just left. Like I, I don't even know what. I, I still to this day don't even know because I just didn't ask because I was just like, this is his girl. So then I took Mr. Incredible in the house. But 
I think I went to the bathroom or something. I, I went to do something. I probably went to smoke a black and mild. I ain't gonna lie. I was smoking black and mild like this time because I was stressed out. If you have made it this far in the story time, you see why. Like, I was smoking at this time because I was so young to be smoking. But I was, I had, I needed something because it was just wilding out. And I, you know, I also think I went into Mo's room to sell some Coronas too. But I can't, I can't verify that because I really honestly don't remember. But I feel like I went in his room to take something. So I think I took like some beers or something from his room or whatever. But anyway, so boom, that happened. So then I get my uncle back in the house, calm him down. So then I'm thinking like, okay, everything's over. You know, the sound of there. So one of Mo's other friends, um, we gonna call him, we gonna call him Pata Leo. So Pata Leo is, is has been there all day so he's seen everything so me and Pata Leo is like in the house talking about the whole day I'm like yo like you know Jolly Bean Giant just came he had came to see me and hang out with us and like he got arrested I'm stressed out and then this guy was just fighting his friend I don't know what's going on Mr. Incredibles cursing everybody out he was like yo like this is so crazy did it out this and the third I can't believe this and I'm like yo like I just cannot believe all of the things that were happening. And all of this happened, mind you, in like the span of like three hours, like possibly less. Like it was like three situations back to back. So then boom, after that, there was a whole big thing. So my uncle winds up back outside. I don't even know how he winds up outside. I ain't gonna lie. I probably just got tired of like babysitting. And I was like, you know what? Fine, you grown. You wanna go outside? Let them jump you. Like, I'm staying in the house because I'm not getting jumped for you. Like, I'm sorry, like, to be jumped. Like, because if I get jumped, like, I'm gonna be dumb tight. Like, because it's like, if you get jumped, like, that's it. Like, you just get jumped. Like, I'm, I'm gonna go down swinging, but it's like, yo, like, who wants to get jumped, like, over some shit that could have been avoided? Like, so he goes back outside. So, so then I'm talking to Paco Leo and I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm gonna just get up and go back outside because I think he about to wall out. So something told me to just go back outside. So I go back outside. He's standing on our stoop and he's cursing out sushi because he's like, oh, you probably stole my phone. Why did he tell sushi this? Mind you, sushi's still hyped up from, from the, his friends or slowly swole. So I'm like, and he got hit and the friend just left. So I'm like, yo, he probably still feel a way about that. And I'm like, oh, like this is just too much for me to process. Now, this is where shit takes a turn. I'm sorry guys, cause I'm at 28 minutes. I really tried to make this under 30, but you gotta understand it was a lot happening. Friend was like, oh, you probably stole my phone. So I'm like, ooh. So I was on the side, cause this is my thing. When men are fighting, I'm not that girl. I'm not gonna get involved. I'm not breaking up nobody. Cause if a, if I get two pieced, trying to break up two grown men fighting, I want to fight now. Like it's just no. It's just and I don't want to get knocked out trying to. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a woman. Like statistically, like genetically, like I cannot beat you. Like so, it's no. I'm not doing that. It's not gonna be that. So so now sushi. I swear to God. I swear to my aunt Gloria, may her soul rest in peace. Cause bitch where it said it right looking at me on her refrigerator. I swear to God, they started to square up and you will not believe this next one. Sushi grabs, uh, uh, no, I'm lying. Sushi assumes the position. So I thought he was doing the position earlier when him and the front like, ah, like I thought that that was, his stance, no, my boy backed out the karate, bro. This nigga said, I swear, <laughs> this nigga went straight, crouching tiger, hidden dragon on my uncle. <laughs> it's not funny, but why would he do that? Cause, and I'm the type of person, I laugh at very inappropriate times. So it was so funny to me because we on, we in the middle of the hood. We on fucking Kelly Street in the Bronx. And this nigga's doing cool. Really gotta see this. So bro really said, like he did some like, like, and he was doing some like, I, I can't even imitate the movement because this was so long ago. But he was doing, and then he went like this. I swear to God, like this, like. And so they was about to fight. So then Mr. Incredible, he grabbed like a crate and he like this. And this dude, I swear to God, this dude, Sushi, did a flying jump kick. I swear to God, like this. Like, I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. This man was in the air. 
Yo, it was so funny. Like, what the fuck? I thought he was about to pull his dukes up. And bro just started waking up. Like, like, I swear to God. Oh my God. Yo, I wish Mo was here. So he could just, because that shit was crazy. So then, some stuff transpired. There was a few people on the block that was a little upset. They were trying to do their little illegal activities. And I guess they felt like they was making the block hot. So now they come to press us and George Lopez is with them. And I'm like, they like, yeah, like we want to fuck y'all up. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, now, <laughs> like, please, like, where does it end? Where does it end? So then I'm trying to defuse the situation because I'm that bitch. Like, because I'm like, look, this is like 20 people. It's like five of us. Like, my parents are old. Mr. Incredible, he old. He might have a little son in him. Because I'm not going to lie. When he grabbed the crate and he was saying sushi, I, he had a little ah uh, ah. Uh, but I don't think he got it for this crowd. I, I just I just feel like our chances are slim. So, I'm the type of child to talk out. So, I was like, yo. like So, I'm talking to George Lopez. And I'm like, yo, you done been at my house. Like, you done ate my food. Like, you really going to stay here with these people and let them like try to harm like my people like you dead ass like because i'm thinking like maybe if i could get through to george lopez then they would stop all this madness so then you know a few things happened there was like words exchanged or whatever so i'm thinking like they about to they about to jump us so what i'm thinking as a mode of defense we had a dog so we had a pit bull and i was like fuck it i'm about to let this motherfucker loose and let him just bite any of these motherfuckers like because that's how i'm thinking like because i'm not about to fight 20 people like i need help like and y'all it's just really like i just didn't understand like none of anything that was going on i know this story time is all over the place but i swear to god this is a real event this really happened in my life and i just don't know why like things like this will always happen to me so so boom so like i tried to go get the dog pop the leo then lock the damn house door I'm banging on the door and I'm like, yo, they about to jump us outside. Why the fuck you got the door locked? So now I'm cursing out Pata Leo, not forgetting that everybody's outside. But then like everything had died down, right? Everything had died down. I was just like, yo, like it, it just got crazy. There was a scuffle. I'm not going to say who the scuffle was involving because that was just some other shit. But it was a scuffle and we went back in the house. I was trying to basically Mo was kind of in the scuffle so I was trying to like um like patch up his like wounds or whatever and Mr. Incredible is still in the house going off and I'm like yo have you had enough have you had enough because at this point when you started with um why I name my sister whatever I named her he started with her early in the day this happened like when I got home at like three it's now like nine o'clock at night. Like, yo, stop. Like, so now he starts flipping on us and he pulls out a knife. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I said, let me tell you something. I'm not doing this shit with y'all. Y'all have been stressing me out all day. And that's why I don't like when they used to throw their little events or whatever. Because I don't want to be in the logical one. Because all of this was just chaos. It was just chaos. The whole entire night was chaos. And it was just like, yo, it did not have to be this way. Like, why are y'all like this? And so he pulls out a knife. He starts flipping out. Him and Mo wind up getting into it. We wind up putting him out. Because I told him, I said, look, if you come in here with this bullshit, I'm dead pulling the cops. And the police station right around the corner. Police! Police! Help! Police! Help! Police! I know because they came and packed Jolly Green Giant ass up real quick. So I'm dead calling the cops. I don't have time for this. And you're going back to jail because these devils on parole. And I was like, yo, I'm about to send you back to jail because this is crazy. Like, now you're just being foolish. Like, now you just want to fight everybody for what? Like, you don't fought sushi. You don't fought the people from the block. You don't fought this. One. Like, please. Like, please. Please. He wound up leaving. He was outside cursing somebody else out. I was like, and I, I told, I told, um, and I had told my mom. So I was like, yo, if you go, if you go out there behind him, something happen. Don't expect me to come out because now it's like you're trying to create problems like where we live and stuff. And like, come on, what the hell? But that was a story talking about how my uncle almost got all of us jumped. Um, and everybody went to jail. And um, well, not everybody, just Jolly Green Giant. He just went to jail. But he got out of jail like two or three days later. But that was just a hot ass mess. Like that night, I cannot forget about it because like, but my bro was doing my 
crouching tiger hidden dragon yo that shit was so fucking funny like and my mom was like that's not funny like because i was like yo it's funny like why did he just start like yo <sighs> i'm telling y'all my life is really a movie and i'm hoping one day to get monetized and get paid from it because i have suffered enough stress in my life already but anyways that's the story talking about how my uncle almost got jumped and you know uh i don't even know what the lesson was from this one to be honest um i think the lesson is don't have no hood barbecues on the concrete just have them in the park guys just don't because i feel like that was the cause of all of this if and we lived across the street in the park so that's the part that made me mad like if we just had it in the park everything would be fine but they didn't have it in the park they wanted to have it in front of the building where other people live. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate you so much. Honestly, truly, from the bottom of my heart. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that is probably the only social media I think I have active now. I deactivated my Facebook. I am barely on Twitter. That's why I don't share it because I'm not really on there. So yeah, if you want to keep up with me, follow me on Instagram. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Comment, you know what? I want y'all to comment this time. Comment your craziest family stories. Because I feel like I'm telling y'all a lot of my tea and y'all want to tell me none of yours. And yes, I'm looking at y'all sideways. And also, too, I know there's a few of y'all up in the mix that be watching my videos and you're not subscribed. I see you. And we won't have to fight because you need to just subscribe. Subscribe, hit the bell. I am on the road to something. <laughs> I don't even know what subscribe account I want to even set my first milestone for because I just feel like every time I do that, I disappoint myself. So I am just going to keep pushing out videos weekly and hope that y'all stay around to watch. And also, too, yeah, subscribe. Like, because that's weird like why you like i know it's like some people like i follow like they all follow me on instagram or whatever and you just click the link but you can subscribe like it doesn't hurt you it doesn't cost you anything i'm not charging you 2.99 it's not only fans like you could just subscribe support your girl help me help me <laughs> that's not a little desperate i gave very jim carrey -ish. i'm sorry about that y'all but i've just i've been traumatized but anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I just went off in a whole tangent. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all next time. And until then, y'all, be safe. And stay ready. So you ain't got to get ready. <laughs>